I'm Amy from eSpares and in this video I'll be sharing with you how to find the model number on your washing machine. It's really important to make sure you know the model number and the specific product or serial number. If your washing machine develops a fault and is in need of a replacement part, then your model number will ensure that you get the correct part for your appliance. Many appliance spare parts look very similar, however they do vary slightly in shape and design. So a seemingly like-for-like -like replacement could actually be unsuitable for your machine. So when selecting a spare part, it's really important to make sure that you have your model number on hand when buying a replacement. Another reason why knowing your model number is important is for the safety of your appliance. You may have heard news reports of manufacturers recalling appliances from time to time due to safety concerns. These recalls do happen and they can affect any one of your household appliances. Continuing to run your appliance after it's been recalled is a danger to you and your home. When a manufacturer does issue a recall, they'll release a series of makes and models of all the appliances affected by the issue. So if you know your model number, you can check through the list and find out whether yours has been affected and whether it needs to be repaired or replaced to make it safe. For more information on appliance recalls, take a look at our video up here and we'll link even more about appliance safety at the end of this video. So now let's find the model number on your machine. We should be looking for a rating plate or a sticker that will have all the information we need on it. So the first place to look is behind the door. Be sure to check the rim of the door itself and also the rim around the door seal and as we can see on this LG model, the rating plate's here. But if there isn't a rating plate or a sticker on your machine here, then we can check behind the kick plate or behind the flap that covers the filter. And if you still have no luck finding it, be sure to check the sides and the back of the machine too. Once you've successfully located the data plate, here's what to look for to find the right model info. The format of the model number and the product or serial number can vary depending on the manufacturer of the appliance. The model number will typically be a combination of numbers and letters and also contain special characters like forward slashes or dashes. I'm just going to quickly run through how some other popular brands display their model numbers too. So if you have an AEG, an Electrolux or a Zanussi model, then you want to look for the model number and also the specific product number, which is 11 digits, often starts with a 9 and usually has a space or a dash before the last two digits. If you have a Hoover or a Candy model, then you want to look for the model number and also the serial number, which is usually 16 digits and starts with a 3. And if you have a Whirlpool, an Ignis or a Bauknit model, then you want to look for the model number and also the service number, which is usually 12 digits and starts with 85. If your model number has become faded or rubbed off, then not to worry, we can still help you find the information you need. Take a look at our video up here where we explain what to do if your model number is no longer readable or you just can't find it. Hopefully we've helped you find the model number on your washing machine and remember that you'll need this should you ever need spare parts for your appliance. If you do need spare parts for your washing machine, we'll link down below where you can find them on our website. And as promised, here are our range of appliance safety tip videos so you can keep your washing machine and your other household appliances safe. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon so you can be notified every time we upload a maintenance, diagnosis or repair video. Thanks for watching.